Yo, it's your boy Augie. Welcome back to another Forza Motorsport gameplay video. I want to bring to your attention anybody playing on PC, we uploaded a PC review rant best settings for a RTX 3070 Ti. But I found something new that you might like. So if you're playing on PC, do yourself a favor and go ahead and install Reshade. Um, if you've used any other modding tools for like, let's say Cyberpunk, um, Starfield, you know what reshades are. The reshade panel still works. And so if you're playing on Steam, you can just go ahead and launch the reshade application, link it to your Forza Motorsport executable, and you can then go ahead and copy the settings on the screen to get your image looking somewhat more vibrant, more contrasty, and really get away from that um, that smeared, washed out look. As you can see right now, the game looks 100% better than what it does out of the box. And just to show you, let me turn off all these reshades so you can see what the game looks like without the shaders. So this is as without the shaders. With the shaders enabled, this is the game now. See the difference? It's a slight difference, but a very good and important difference. So if you have the Steam version of Forza Motorsport, please go ahead and install Reshade. Turn on these particular shaders. Use these settings you have on screen to get your game to look a lot better. And in terms of performance, I'm not seeing that much of an FPF drop. The game itself is under-optimized as it is, so you're not gonna really see anything massive on FPS drop. Now, for those people that are on Xbox and are playing Game Pass PC and want to use reshaders, you can still use reshaders because I'm currently on Game Pass and I am running the reshade. What you need to do when you launch the reshade is to simply, here, let me back out of here so you can see the process. What you need to do is you need to exit the game, go to reshade, and where it says browse, notice how Forza Motorsport may not show up in this list, okay? And if it does, it's not, Horizon shows up for me, but I'm not seeing Motorsport. What you wanna do is you wanna go to browse, and you don't want to use, I have my game installed on a separate um, SSD, but essentially you wanna go to your wherever, usually it'll be a new folder where it has it named, if you have, whatever your name structure is for where you saved your Forza Motorsport, go ahead and find it. If you're getting this far into modding, I'm pretty sure you know where your file structure is. So find your Forza Motorsport file structure, get into it, get into the contents. And before, do not use the Forza Motorsport desktop. Don't use this. Use the game Launcher EXE. That is what you're going to need to click on to get um, reshade, reshade to work correctly. Once you launch it through the game launcher, you can go ahead and process all the way through reshade. And here, let me just, um, let's just go through here. So you wanna then hit next, choose DirectX 10, 11, 12. Clearly, if it's your first time, go to modify. And from there, you can click on the, um, I already have a, saved what I'm currently using already saved. You want to go to next and make sure you have most of these checked. Um, for the most part, the default that it comes with is good enough. But if you want more access, you can check all of these. They're not really m tweaks. They're just different settings that you can add to your reshade. I'm not going to do any of this because I already have it done. I don't want to mess up what I currently have. But if you have the Forza Motorsport version on Game Pass, then you want to use the Game Launcher EXE, not the actual game launch icon itself. So remember, wherever your file structure is, find the EXE and launch it from there. If you launch it and it's working correctly, you should see that when you press home, well, initially when you launch it, you'll see that blue ribbon, the yellow ribbon, if you have an outdated version of Reshare like I do, it will tell you that there's new version available to you. But if you have the most current version, it will initialize and walk you through just seeing the reshade panel. So you will see this come up. You will click through a couple of settings and then 
it will bring you to the reshade home screen. Here you can tweak things as you want, or you can use my current settings if you like how the game looks on my current screen. But curves, so we added some curves to make sure the darks were a little bit darker, more contrast was added. Levels, we brought down the black point just a little bit and increased the white level so the white stands out and it's not as dark. And then uh, vignette, uh, vibrancy, we brought up vibrancy a lot so colors pop more. And one thing I noticed about Forza Motorsport at default is just it did not have, watch, if I turn on vibrancy, notice the, real, the wheels, the wheels just kind of fade into the screen, but when you bring it back up, all the colors pop. Is that realistic? Maybe not, but is that more pleasing to look at? Definitely. So go ahead and play around with these um, settings, with these different um, values, and just create the look you want. For me, curves, levels, vibrant, and then AMD fidelity contrast. This just made the game look a little bit sharper. Notice with it turned off, take a look at the gas. Um, just, just focus your eye on any part of the hood right here. And then notice how it gets a little bit more sharper. The AMD Fidelity FX Contrast Adaptive Sharpening sharpens the image a little bit more. So if you're not getting that crisp of an image, the AMD Fidelity FX Contrast Adaptive Sharpening, wow, what a giant ass fucking word. It will get the game to look a little bit more crisp. The lines look a little bit more sharper. So there you go. If you're playing on PC, use Reshade. Try to use some of these settings, but also play around and see what you can create to get the game to look like you need it to look because out of the box, the game is not the best looking game.